Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be touching up some of the rock chips on the front of my car here. I hate seeing rock chips, but there's not much I can do about it because as I drive the car, other cars kick up dirt and rocks. It's going to chip up the front end. Uh, unfortunately, that's the reality of driving a car and owning a car. You're always going to get some chips. Uh, but the one thing I can do is minimize the appearance of the chips by touching them up. So in today's video, we are going to be using this tool here as well as some leftover paint that I had left over from the paint job. Um, to touch up these little chips. This here is a fine tip paint pen. You can almost get these anywhere. Just gotta search on Amazon or eBay and you'll be able to find one of these things. They're real handy. So before we even get started touching up the chips, we're gonna have to remove the sealant that I've applied onto the, the chip areas because, you know, before I put the car away for storage, I sealed the paint. And if you don't remove the sealant, as you put the paint on, it's probably not gonna stick. So we're gonna do that first before we start touching up. So let's get to work. All right, just to show you guys where some of the chips are, there's a chip right there. There's like two little chips there. Um, it's chipped a little bit here, but this you can't really touch up. That's probably just a scuff in a clear coat, but there's not much I could do about that. Um, but I could touch this up as well. There is one right over here. So we're going to clean off the sealant on off these areas and then we're going to get to touching it up. All right, to start cleaning some of the chips, I'm just going to use some clay as well as some water just to scrub off any of the dirt that's on there or any of the, the sealant. This a clay bar usually is able to remove any of the sealant or wax on paint. So all you're going to do is just wet the area and then just rub this over a little bit. Like so, just like that, as well as I'm going to clean that with isopropyl alcohol later. I'm also going to use a degreaser to degrease that area, which basically is just the Windex that I'm using with ammonia, which will degrease the area. Now, some isopropyl alcohol to just one final wipe the area and then let it dry before I actually start touching it up. All right, there you go. As you can see, unfortunately, it does scuff it up with a, like it get, put some scratches in there because of the, the clay bar, but that should be good enough for me to actually start um, touching it up. We'll repolish this after we touch it up. All right, so here's the leftover paint that I have. It's been probably a couple of years that's been sitting, so I don't know if it's still good or not, but you can still hear that there is liquid inside. So that means there's enough for me to actually touch up. Uh, I have one of these glass eyedroppers, which I'm gonna use to suck up the paint and put it, feed it into this um, fine tip paint pen. As you can see, this is the fine tip paint pen. Here's the tip for it. This is where the the paint's gonna come out from. So essentially you're gonna fill the paint into here and then you go around the car and start dabbing just the fill and stuff like that. So before I get started and opening this up, I'm gonna get some paper towel just in case this drips. So there you go, some paper towel. Now we're gonna just open it up and stir it up and then get some paint going. still quite a bit of, not a lot of paint in there, but enough for me to do whatever. So just gonna give it a quick stir, make sure everything's mixed up. There you go. And you don't need a lot of it, just a little bit of it. All right, so we gotta work quick because this thing's starting to drip out, so. Just gonna go ahead and start dabbing. There we go. All right, so that's the touch up right there. You can come up close a little bit, as you can see. So a couple of big globs there, but that's okay. It's gonna shrink down when it um, dries, and it did. 
the bumper as well. You can't even see where it is anymore, but it's around here, but you can't really see it too much. All right, so as you can see, here's the chip. It's filled in right now. It is black. It's currently curing, so once it's fully cured, we'll polish up the area. I'm not gonna add any more paint to it. It's good enough. It's just gonna dry up, and that's good enough for me. Same with this area here. But it won't be as noticeable once I polish it up. You can only notice it right now because of all the scuffs around the area from the clay barring. All right, so now that's been drying for about a day, I'm gonna just use some uh, Ultra Cut Compound, and I'm just gonna polish that out. So that's been polished out. As you can see, it's, it's not showing any of the primer anymore. I mean, I could keep filling the spots until it's flush, but either way, you're still going to be able to see it. This is good enough. It's black. I don't see like a white dot from afar. So I think I'm good with that. And I'm going to polish up this side as well. Wherever that speck is, is right here. There you go, all polished up. And as you can see, you can barely see this one. It's really up to the angle of the car. You can barely see it because it's blended in, but if you come up close, there it is. This one's a little bit more noticeable because the light shines right on it and it reflects, but it is covered up. So it is black, not like before where it was showing the primer. All right, so after you've done finishing touching up and stuff, the most important part is being able to clean all your tools. So what I'm going to use is the same thing I use for cleaning my paint gun. Um, it is just using some lacquer thinner. So I'm just going to rinse this off in some old lacquer thinner first and then, and then chase it through some fresh lacquer thinner afterwards. Got a needle here that cleans up some of the tip. So what I'm going to do is just like this and clean up the needle, make the tip. All right, there you go guys. That's how you would touch up some rock chips with a fine tip paint pen. This is pretty easy to do. Uh, it works pretty well, I think. Uh, you could use it to build layers onto the rock chip to fill in the paint chip. That way it's a little bit less noticeable because you don't see that little dip. But I only wanted to color it in so that it's less noticeable. Um, and it did a fine job for that. Uh, anyways, I hope this video helps you guys out. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe, and share my videos. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.